Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So we've got John Crump joining us here. We're going to talk about uh, what's going on here with uh, JSD Supply and the ATF. Um, let's... Uh, well, Walter has a question. Let's let Walter get his question off, John, if you don't mind, and then we'll get into the rest of it. Go ahead, Walt. All right, real quick. Uh, the letter they received pertained to the uh, 80% of the, the, the P80 frames, unfinished frames, and the parts for the unfinished, for the lowers, right? Um, it, can uh, they still sell uh, all this uh, stuff, or they just stop selling everything? No. No, uh, the, the letter said – this is what the letter said. It said – since you sell 80% kits, mm -hmm. you cannot sell parts or 80% kits to anyone because it would be considered a firearm. So let's say you bought a, uh, a uh, like a P80, right? And you come back two years later and you buy a spring. The AT, According to the ATF, that's a firearm now. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Okay, so listen. Give give us the give us the breakdown first of all, John, and then we'll hit you okay. up with some more questions. Go ahead. Okay, what they did, what they what the ATF said is by doing that, that they were structuring deals where people buy That's like an eighty percent kit and come back uh, later and buy parts. They said because of that, it it's structuring. So if anybody ever. If ever the customer bought anything from them and bought like a, a P80 or bought a part now, that they, they couldn't, that they could get in trouble for it. Uh, so right now they are fighting back. They have Super Attorney Rob Olson as their attorney, which is a great, great guy to have if you want to, if you're doing this case. You want the guy that argues in front of the Supreme Court to be arguing your case too. Um, so. We have a legal defense fund. Uh, you can either go to gibsongo.com slash JSD and donate there. You can go to the JSD website at jsdsupply.com, and you can buy a T-shirt, or you can go to Josh Shapiro, who is the attorney general of Pennsylvania, really anti-gun guy, really doesn't like Jordan. So you can go to Josh Shapiro likes BBC.com, and that will redirect you to the <laughs> Gibson Go. <laughs> yeah, um, Walter. Walter is a little confused uh, about the the Josh Shapiro likes BBC. BBC doesn't stand for British uh, Broadcasting Corporation. Walt, it stands for Big Black something that starts with C. So, something that starts oh, with C. Oh, yeah. another word for a chicken. Yeah, or mandingo. <laughs> or yeah a male chicken basically yeah uh, yeah uh, the other day we were sitting on there and i was like and i said something about how i wish uh, yeah. terry crew would do something to josh shapiro so then i was like i wonder if this is taken and of course it's not taken Hell, so why now would that be taken <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh I don't know. god so josh shapiro is that the same guy that um went after jsd and basically broke the law yes okay Right. Well, I got a feeling that he's really behind this. Okay. So, so the ATF, uh, from what I saw from JSD, I think they put out some kind of statement. They said the ATF came up there. They didn't let them in. Is that true? They, yeah, they did not let them in. Two agents showed up from the Pittsburgh field office mm -hmm. with a cease and desist out of the Philadelphia field office where Josh Shapiro is located. Now he's located and he works very closely with the Philadelphia ATF. Mm -hmm. That's why we think that Josh Shapiro has something to do with it. At uh, 9 a.m. in the morning, they served them with a the, with the P and D. Mm -hmm. They didn't take anything. They didn't take any customer records. Didn't take any products. Out of the abundance of caution, they took down their website, um, which back up, but everything zeroed out. But they still tell sell T-shirts. But they took down everything because no one's really sure what the letter means. Honestly, I don't think that it, it's enforceable. But you never know what they would try to enforce. So right now they're going through the legal the legal means to do do this. GOA is helping them out. Uh, Rob Olson is the lead the lead the chief counsel for GOA. So they have a good attorney, <laughs> and GOA has been working behind the scenes on a, on a bunch of stuff with our you know members of Congress and stuff on awesome. behalf of the uh, JSB and the gun owners because this is going to extend if this a lot is allowed to. 
stand, it's going to go way back, way beyond JFD. It's going to hit everyone that sells 80% in parts. Uh, Brownells, for example, they sell 80% in parts. You know, so it is going to hit them hard. JFD has the biggest market share of 80%. They mm-hmm. sell more 80% than anyone else in the in the, in the world, I guess, because, you know, they don't want to have them. So that might be the reason why they went after him. But I think it's more likely that it has to deal with Josh Shapiro. Okay. Um, if Lola's hearing me, can you just put a link in the description of the video? I, I dropped it in earlier. Yeah, I'll, or I'll get it in the in. yeah, get it in the chat. It's so it's give. I'll drop it again. It's give send go slash JSD for anyone. Yeah, who's looking give send go slash send, uh, give send go dot com slash JSD. Or if if you can't remember that, you can probably remember Josh Shapiro likes BBC dot com. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, I'll read don't it. Google it. Don't give. Don't Google it. Um, Not so, even Google it. Just go to the JFD site. The JFD. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you no, know, it's, it's actually actual website that I registered. Okay, and I can't put up. I can't like you know my setup here is a little rudimentary because I didn't want to bring everything with me, um, so I can't screen share right now. However, um, JSD themselves. If you go to JSD Supply, so if you Google JSD Supply, you can go to the store. I think that you said they're selling T-shirts. I know I saw it. I just can't share it. Yeah, T-shirts, and that, and that money will go to the Legal Defense Fund as well. Well, right. we're gonna we're gonna fight back. I mean, with everything we got, we're gonna fight back. Um, I've been yeah. doing a lot of research and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Uh, Olson, like at nine thirty last night, he called me because he I'm helping him with some research stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the case, uh, he called me at nine thirty, and he and, and he was working on, still working on the case at nine thirty. So we are getting this. We're we're working our asses off to try yeah. to. No, I would. So so let me. Um, <laughs> your son say no no a word. <laughs> You're being monitored. Yeah. His big his little yeah. son over there. He's gonna rat you out. Um. So <laughs> my kids used to do the my same thing. Go on you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, huh? so here's the thing um you know for anyone out there because i looked at, he's like i'm watching you oh my god yeah um yeah boy you're gonna have so much trouble man matthew is just no joke so um so i did look at the give said go and only like two percent of the money is being raised if anyone thinks that j oh these guys must have a lot of money they don't need this no. or whatever they are right okay. now in danger of going out of business because of this but we're also talking about some guys that are very generous to people in yeah. the in the two A community, including myself, in, including uh, Patrick. I'm sure he'll tell you guys they you know they've spent a lot of time out there helping people, and you know I think this is a time when yeah. when they really need the help back, as well as this yeah. is some this is something historic. I think if the ATF is allowed to get away with this, you will see them go after other companies oh. that are selling stuff, yeah. which which they haven't done yet, right, John? No, this is the first one. This is the only one. Matthew, stop. Um, but here's He's the good, thing. Man. He's good. Don't worry about it. Any, any, any money that they don't spend, uh, don't use for, for the specific calls, I mean, they're not going to go out and buy like a Ferrari or whatever. whatever. Whatever money they don't use to the specific calls, they are going to donate to pro gun organizations. Yeah, so your money is not going to go into someone's pocket at the end of the day. It will end up helping to a. Yeah. I mean, this is way. an expense. This is like an expensive fight. And on top of that, people have oh, to yeah. realize they literally cannot sell most of what they sell. And and you know, Jordan's employed a lot of people here. They, yeah, they can sell T-shirts. Yeah. So that's all they can sell, and in in order to keep these you know their employees going. I mean, this is like some really messed up stuff that. Um, that the ATF and uh, you know, and, and I'm guessing like what is that state of Pennsylvania with this uh, BBC Josh guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, Josh Shapiro, he's really anti-gun. He's the guy that shut down the the that got him kicked out of the gun shows before they bought the gun shows. He now owns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why he the bought them. That they he's now, him off, but he like, <laughs> yeah, that he yeah. said through you. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah, this is a rough thing. So hopefully, you know, the folks out there will help out and, um, you know, maybe we'll get some other people to to uh, jump in. Maybe some 
other more influential content creators out there, folks who are fighting for the second yeah, amendment, I mean, will jump in on this and, and help out like getting this out there. It, Go ahead. Yeah, JST has been in this site for a long time. They've given uh, Jordan himself has given a lot of money to program organizations behind the scenes, like thousands and thousands of dollars. And mm-hmm. you know, it's not like he maybe he should have looking back so people know, but it's not like he went out there and said, oh, I gave this money to GOA. I give this money to FPC. He just did it because mm-hmm. he believed in the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and now, you know, uh, he, he's not in it. I mean, he's in it for a business reason, but I mean, he didn't donate the money for personal reasons. He donated the money because he believes in the Second Amendment. He believes in gun rights. Uh, and he believes in giving back. He's, I don't know, if you ever met Jordan, you will know that he is the most sincere person I've ever met in my life. When, when my dad died and my wife was deployed, they said, Matt, like, all this food. I mean, Matt, Matthew and them would get candy bars every day. Like, not just like one candy bar. I'm talking about like freaking boxes of candy bars. And then uh, they would go to Honey Baked Ham Company and I would get like, I got like a 24 pound ham delivered one day with yeah. with mashed potatoes and no Jordan, so I had to Jordan people, and all those guys are very are generous yeah um, and I think this is like a time where people need to help them out with this but also this yeah. is something that will affect the entire gun world the gun community including the gun businesses out there so oh, yeah. I would hope people would would get together do you guys does Patrick or Walter have any other questions. Yeah, I do have an idea for Walter, but I okay. talk to him. I'll, so, I'll talk so to him no, about I'm sure it. people want to know yeah. this, and I'm not sure if you said it already, but um, no records were given up, right? No records of anyone no, who's given up. No zero sales. records. No okay. records. No, no, no sales. Zero records yeah, were given that, up. That's kind of odd, I think, in my opinion, that they didn't. It's, and maybe it means they don't know what they're doing either at this point. Yeah, that's what I, it I sounds like. Well, to they me. weren't allowed in. And then they would have to do something in order to get those records, which they don't have any rights to. They have to. a search. They have to have they, a warrant. Probably. Yeah, they didn't have a uh, warrant. They just had a cease and desist, right? Sorry, go yeah, ahead, John. you got to remember, a cease and desist doesn't come from the courts. A court order to seize records, they have to have a court order. A cease and desist could just be their lawyers drafting it up. Yeah, it's just mm-hmm. a letter. Yeah, yeah. And they could do a lot of stupidness yeah. like that. But just that letter alone makes you have to get out there and fight it and therefore spend money. This is not like some case where the lawyers come for free and they only get paid if you win kind of nonsense. No, no, it's this is definitely not that. They're probably not going to recover legal fees. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, in, in this type of case, you've never, you usually never recover legal fees. Yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a lot of them here. Um how long do you think all of this is going to be going on here? I mean, it, it depends. I mean, they, I, I, I guess with some. I mean, it, it could be weeks um, if the ATF backs down, or it could be months with the new rule coming down. I think they want to shut off JSD being able to sell until the new rule comes down, and then try to. Yeah, this yeah, is so using the power so, of the government to basically assassinate a company that you don't like. Basically, yes. That's what we're looking at. Patrick, you had a, you had a question. Are they, uh, I mean, is there talks of trying to get injunctive relief of some kind? Like through the yes. court system, trying to get some sort of injunction to stop this from happening? That, that, that's, what, that's what the money is being used for. Okay. Yeah. Probably John can't say more than that, I would assume. Yeah, I can't say more than that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah it's I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get it. Well, the, the they know that they're going to try. To, so there's some type of injective relief. Yeah, they're going to sure. try. So yeah. that's not a secret. Yeah. But like the exact plans and everything. Yeah, that's. Not, it it yeah, just you don't tell. You don't want to tell the enemy your plans. That's what. Uh, that's yeah. Exactly. Awesome. No, you don't. No. Um, it just sucks, though, that unless you know, you're Russian, unless you're Russian, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this and is you see what the, happened to those guys. Though. This is the same thing the yeah. Russians are doing, man. They're trying to go the the government here, the ATF, and and even these uh, even the Attorney General there, you know, of uh, Pennsylvania. They're basically trying to go and loot this company or use this company to to build their own credibility, fame, or whatever in, in this, politics. You know, this all this is about is 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 getting back. Somebody poked JSC poked that guy. 
and now he's going to poke back. But he's going to yeah, use. He's going to use. Yeah, I, I think that goes back to the gun the, the gun show thing. When he he did the press conference, oh, we kicked him out of the gun show. We kicked him out of the gun show. Then two weeks later, they're like, we own the gun show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are there any comments? It's from like the, the Michael floor? Jordan thing, right? Yeah. When Michael Jordan went the car dealership, like blew him off. He went and bought the car dealership. Right, right, right. Yeah. Are there any comments from the people in the in the chat or questions that we need to? Uh, to, to get in here, other than people probably being mad. Unfortunately, I can't see it just the way that it's going right now. I but pull it back up. Um, I, I would just ask the folks out there to, you know, I look, I know how it goes, right? Um, but in terms of finances and everything for everyone out there, but it, even if you can't give anything it's, to the cause here, you can always help share things that are yeah, going share up. it. Yeah. Um, share I know, the story. Share yeah, the who story, has share videos, story. John? Do you have a video up? I have a video, Flight and Rich has a video, DLD, After the Dark has a video, those are the two guys that have been helping me with the fundraisers and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, there's some, several other smaller creators that has videos up. We're trying to get the bigger creators to make videos. Mm -hmm. but, Armin Naxa says, yeah. if he hasn't changed his number, I could text him. I would suggest against that. I wouldn't bother them at the moment because I'm sure they're busy uh, and they, <laughs> they're they not looking for colloquial texts. So. Yeah, I, I think would, at this I would point, hold off on texting. Jordan yeah, I think the biggest thing at this point is they have like a big fight ahead of them here that's not going to stop, man. Even if they back this off, these guys are not going to stop. Yeah, you know, wow. this, this is going to be ongoing, man. You know, it the government and the media and lots of people out there just really want to go after this eighty percent thing, and they're gonna. They've already selected JSD Supplies, the whipping boy, obviously being. <laughs> One of the bigger companies out there doing it, but, but once again, yeah, they I'm are. They, they sell, they sell like sixty percent of all polymer eighties in the country. So yeah, but yeah, you know, so they shut like sixty percent off, like right there, bam. Yeah, For one fell swoop. Right, you know, and maybe the other companies looking at this. I don't know if any other companies out there looking at this. They should be. You know, you guys should think about this. This will be coming for you too. And at some point here, we have to get together and put a stop to all this craziness. Well, I, I know, I know, I know. Defense Distributed uh, is uh, that they are doing stuff to uh, to help JSD. So yeah, I will say that. Yeah, Brownell also, sells a PSA. You know, all these companies Midway. do. Yeah, Midway. Everyone, everyone sells eighty percenters, and they should be able to. You know, and the people should have access to that. Yeah, and, and yeah. Like a lot of the companies. Out. Go ahead. It seems like a lot of the companies pulled. Sorry, go, go I think John. I might be a little bit delayed. No, I think go, a John. lot of the companies pulled down their eighty percent off their websites and zeroed out their inventory. Mm. So it's having a chilling effect already. Okay, go ahead. This will go way, way beyond eighty percent because if they mm -hmm. can pull this off, then they can stop selling finished receivers and anything. Parts. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, so that's why we need to fight back. This is this is more important. This is not we're just not fighting back just for JSD. We are fighting back for mm -hmm. JSD, but it, we're fighting back for I'm fighting back for myself too. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting back for you guys uh, and the and the gun owners because this is going to affect a lot more than just JSD. This is going to have rippling effects across the landscape, and not just with polymer 80s but with other products if they can get away with this once they're going to get away with this again and again and again with anything so i mean this is this has been this has been going on since the bump stocks when we said hey if these yeah. guys can make a plastic piece of plastic a machine gun they could do whatever they want to do guess what they're doing now whatever they want to do yeah exactly yeah. it's like when people when the bump stock thing people were like oh it's just a novelty who cares well guess what now look Here at we where, where we are you should have cared back then yeah and, and, and I predicted that. Deeper. Go ahead, Walt. With, with, the, with these government agencies basically making law. Yeah. They're not right. supposed to do that. No. <laughs> that's not their, that's not their <laughs> job. And, you know, I, 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 I contacted my local congressperson and I said that I, that's what my, the crust of my letter was. They're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And they're not, you know. Yeah, but see, the problem is Congress, Republicans included with Democrats, are okay with this because they don't want to make stands 
All they're concerned with is getting reelected and reelected and reelected. They need to put an end to this. Same thing with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court needs to put an end to this. You know, um, well, the Supreme Court, if the Supreme Court thinks it's uh, it's bad that some people got mad about abortion and are, and are out protesting. If you don't stand up for the Second Amendment, that there won't be any kind of there won't be Supreme Court or anything else in this country, in my opinion. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.